to start. And what a beautiful start it looks like being. Pass the salt, Doyle. Cheer up, Dennis. Uh, sunny side up? Mm. Oh, my nose still really hurts. I think I might have sprained it or something. We all do terrible things sometimes, Doyle. I'm sure at this very moment, Mr. Wells is looking for a suitable way to punish himself, and that is exactly as it should be. This sounds about a dad than Alex. I think Ben's the best baby in the world. <laughs> well, he's a bit slow, if you ask me. He never seems to do it. Just, well, sits there. Ben, you're walking! Hello! <laughs> Hello. Oh! The first steps on the dance of destiny. Truly, this is the breakfast of the new dawn. What are you doing? Say hello to Auntie Rachel. Good boy. <laughs> Something. I'll hold this one for a bit. What? No, 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 no. Can you... Oh, stop it! Do some housework or something, please, darling. Oh, just... Oh, it's ominous, Josh. Oh, I don't suppose it's good news for a change. I see. That's probably Duncan begging to come back again. From the social services. Oh, no. No. Oh. Look, who's for a nice bit of breakfast? Hey, uh, no in Mexico they've got that cactus that bounces every hundred years. We should get Josh on for his bedroom. Maybe they'd understand each other. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Wow, oh, you'd be so proud of him. You know, he just got up by himself and started walking. All by himself. And then he walked down here just to show you. Didn't you, Ben? Oh, come on, Sam. I mean, only walked for four minutes before we had to put him back in the pram. Well, what is Sprout? That's a salt. I've been doing the research. This is supposed to be a deep and meaningful moment and you're not helping. Mmm, fried onions. My favourite. Onions? Onions. They smell good. Well, that's very clever, this stuff, because I'm not actually using any. Is he upstairs? Duncan? Yes? He's upstairs in bed. Right. Do you think about your parents all the time? Yeah, I used to. Well, I still do, but... I guess not as much. I've got my own family now. You mean Rachel? Oh, look, mate, um, about Aunt Rachel. I wanted to let you know, when me and Lydia get married, we're going to go for custody of Lucy and Ben. On our own. Without Aunt Rachel. Right. What does that mean? Well, we're going to ask her to move out. And then me and Lydia are going to look after them. Like a proper family. But, uh... I... I haven't told Lucy. Yeah. You know, I'm just waiting for the right moment. But I, uh, I wanted to tell you first, you know? You probably don't want me here. I just want to know he's OK. Steph... You know you are perfectly welcome. If you're worried about Duncan, please just pop up and see him. It's perfectly simple. You could even help change his nappy if you like. Come in. Suffer the little children, Vicar. You know it makes sense. Children? I'm looking after a mic, just for a bit. Look, Steph, if you want to go upstairs, please go upstairs. Honestly, you're like a lost sheep. I may have got Duncan back, but you do have at least two more to tend to. <laughs> you just look at their little faces. There's no matter how terrible your day's been, nothing else seems to matter. Oh, yeah, they're great, aren't they? Well, I don't suppose Mike and I will have any more now. Well, 
Not together anyway. Oh, you never know, do you? I mean, look like at Alex and me, never stop arguing, do we? But this one's come along and, well, we've never been happier. Stella, we should go audition for the school play. I know it won't be much fun with hair cold going at the helm, but uh, might get you out of a few chores here. I'm not allowed out. When is it? Just right now, actually. I'm sure your mum could spare you. Not like I'm an invalid or anything. I can cope, you know, honestly. Della Wells. You will be auditioning from what text? I'm not sure, miss. I came in a bit of a hurry. I thought you'd be giving us something to read. The play doesn't actually exist in any physical form yet. Why don't you make something up? Pick a character. Any character. Cinderella. It isn't that sort of piece. Couldn't you find something a little more... earnest? No. Very well. Cinderella it is. I don't know the words. Della. I may be a virgin when it comes to directing. But I sense the spirit of drama is not in you today. Or could I venture you are only here to avoid being somewhere else? Is anything the matter? Anything I could listen to with three hopefuls waiting in the wings and my tea getting cold? Don't give up. Come back tomorrow with fire in your belly. And we shall try again. <sighs> Next. Mike. Yeah. I, 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 I was just sorting through some stuff. I, uh, moved out of Wales. I didn't like it there. Oh, so you're... I've moved out of Natalie's. Oh. When? A few days ago. Nobody told me. Well, Tom says you've been a bit hard to talk to recently. Oh, he does, does he? <laughs> He's just been going on about Frankie dumping him. He should talk. Uh, are you coping? On your own. Yeah, of course I'm coping. And actually, I'd rather you weren't here, so if you don't mind, I've uh, got housework to do. No. Right, let's see. Eggs. Eggs if you do. Do you need a hand? That's right, I can break a cake, Lydia. But how many people should we invite? And we could say it's a baby's first step party. I and mean, when everyone's here, we can uh, tell them about the custody thing. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, safety in numbers. Aunt Rachel can't stab us at a social engagement. <laughs> uh, could you just look after the oven for a minute? I need to pop upstairs and get a baking tin. Excuse me. What's going on with him? I don't know. Do you? Dennis. I don't want to be the one to tell you, Lydia. Tell me what? Look, if there's something up with Sam, I want to know. I don't think you do. What is that supposed to mean? This affects us all. Well, it affects Lucy and Ben. And if we're going to go for single custody, well, it affects them more than anyone. Do you know about Jane Harper? She went missing. It was Sam's fault. You're his punishment. strange. But the baby seems fine. It hardly ever cries. Mum seems fine. Dad seems fine. 
But there's just something, like this unbearable tension in the air. Well, Della, I'm just a regular doctor. There's not a lot I can do about tension. Not in the air, anyway. It's between Mum and Dad, but it's a different tension. It's not their usual arguments. It, it's something deeper. Right, you think they're keeping something from you, do you, Della? Well, I'm sure they realise just how damaging it can be to withhold information from a loved one. You're mad at me for not telling you where he was. Mad? <laughs> me? <laughs> Della, when have I ever been mad? Sam, it doesn't fit. It's a party. People have to eat. You are sure, aren't you, Sam? About Livia. I know I'm only 11 and I'm not supposed to understand all this stuff, but you are doing the right thing, aren't you? Why would you say that? Wait, have you been talking to Dennis? No, it's not Dennis, it's you. Sometimes you act strange. Since Aunt Rachel moved in, since you've got joint custody. I thought this is what you wanted. But something else has happened, something I don't know about. Yeah, something has happened. I'd like to know. I've fallen in love, Liz. I don't want you listening to anything anyone else has to say. I know how I feel. I know I've never, ever felt like this before. And I know it's love. For I've been a temptress too long. Hi. Sorry, I shouldn't sneak up on you like that. I can go if you want. You here now? You know when something's wrong and you know it is, but no one will tell you what it is. Oh, well, it's like that with mum and dad at the moment. Something to do with the baby. Every time I try and talk to them about it, they just blank me. Sorry, I know you don't know them that well. It's just nice having someone. What's in the bag? Sam. It's the occasion. Uh, Della, there's something I've got to tell you. Something special. Go on, then. Uh, no, not here. I want to meet somewhere else. Can we meet tonight? Eight o'clock? You will be there, won't you? Promise. OK. They were here this morning, all of them. Samuel, Lucy, Benjamin and the others. To celebrate Ben's first steps. They didn't ask me to accompany them. Clearly, it was a matter of family only. And there was I under the impression that family meant blood and heritage. And more locally, despite the normal hullabaloo. We've been managing as well as any other group of misfits. And for the past few months, a kind of unity had bound us. Oh, <laughs> oh more the fool I, Vicar. More the fool I. It's part of being human. I think maybe I haven't been too smart myself. Do you know, I'm starting to warn to her. Lydia, I saw that human imperfections can make for the perfect family, and... I wanted to be part of that family. 
You know that Sam was marrying her for the wrong reasons. Well, maybe I wanted him to marry her for the wrong reasons. And after all, who am I to judge? Who are any of us to judge? <sighs> maybe you should leave Sam alone. Maybe you've meddled long enough. Maybe it's time to let go. And if there was such a boy in your life who was like a son to you, would you let him go? Would you? If there was such a boy in your life? <sighs> Onions. Onions, Reverend. I just think it's best if Mike doesn't come over. He was most peculiar when he did. He was quite out of sorts. I didn't ask him to come round, Natalie. He just came. Well, can't you show him he's not welcome? I did. I told him to leave. I am trying to help, you know. It's very difficult when people keep interfering. <sighs> Seen Woody recently? No. No, I haven't. Done. It's not that I mind you mentioning him. That's fine. I'm not a stranger to affairs of the heart. And we've got to be strong. We've got to be strong because if we're not, everything will fall apart. Natalie. I'm going to build shells, beautiful shells. I don't need Mike around anymore. Nothing is going to fall apart. I'll give you five seconds and I'll start chasing. Oh, don't be like that. You know, we've got history. You make it sound so romantic. Well, it was in a festive kind of way. Come out of the cupboard, you boys and girls. Come and calling, that don't look good. Did you fancy a rematch? Pathetic. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. Oh, just think, girls, don't you know any other words? You're looking a bit more cheery than you were earlier. Della, where do you want this stuff? Um, I'm sorry, love. It's just that, well, you see, Dennis is... He's thinking about moving back in. I said he could just get his room ready, you know, in case. You can share with the twins. It'd be ever so cosy, won't you? I'll come and give you a hand, darling. Look, but you just finished feeding your brother, will you? Thank you. Are you all right there, darling? When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Alone at last, little brother. Now, what's all the fuss about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nothing wrong with you, is there? Hey? Mummy and Daddy are just plain old mad. Yes, they are. Gosh. It's like there's something wrong everywhere I go. It's like someone knows something that they don't want me to know, and my head's going to implode. Well, Reverend, I feel some of us may have been guilty in that regard. We were talking of sons, and you were thinking maybe of a son you left in a church 18 years ago. What about him? He is living amongst uh -huh. us. Josh! 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 Love. God's love has found a way. 